capacity to become enlightened is innate. The fact that you exist is all that you need. First, you have to exist. If you don't exist, you can't become enlightened. So <laughs> I always recommend people first, first exist. OK. That, that's the hard part. Hard part. <laughs> and now, you see, the power of intention is intention is like an attractor field. So when we talk about nonlinear dynamics, we talk about the power of the attractor field. We know that all yellow kitties are alike because they all have one attractor energy field called yellow kitty. And their collective learning is collected there, and each individual kitty then is just an individual expression of that attractor field. <clears throat> the attractor field then of intention is so powerful that it begins to align all your experiences and interpret them and reveal their meaning to you in accord with your commitment. If you say, oh God, let my life be of service to thee, I ask for your will. Those things are so powerful, therefore invoking deity already transforms brain physiology. The brain physiology then, which is necessary to transcend the ego, automatically shifts. Hmm. Commitment then, alignment, intention are extremely powerful. Begins to transform all experience. Power then has the power of invocation. Invocation transforms brain physiology, changes health, changes the balance of the acupuncture system, changes the endocrine system, changes the brain's neurotransmitters, and transforms how you experience life. A person with this side of their brain energized considers New York City a horrible cold place. A person with this side of the brain energized says it's just like old hometown. Well, I'll tell you. You can, in New York City, you can walk down the street and stop anybody and start chatting to them as though you've known them forever. And they just pipe right in like you've always known them. <laughs> you say, what do you think of that? Well, what do you think about them? I mean, it's like you knew you forever, see? All right, so you transform your experience. You transform your witnessing. And the way to God is, I say, to become to become that which you are, that your life becomes the prayer. Your devotion to God is witnessed by that which you are. If you don't acknowledge the divinity within you, who do you expect will? <laughs> so you reverence the divinity within you and the sacredness which is innate to your own creation. And in doing that, you reverence God. So...